How's it going, everyone? You got your boy Corey here, aka Crasher, back with another video, and ladies and gentlemen, let's just get to it. So I bring you guys more of a rant type of video. We don't necessarily cover an isolated drama in great details per se, but I will be making references to a recent situation throughout this video to more or less propel the main points made in this video. This video also will be a bit more of a personal video as well, because I'm going to open up a little bit about myself. Now, the main points I want to make in this video is about honesty and openness. So it should go without saying, being open about things can be rather difficult depending on the person and what their situation is. You should never force someone to open up about things, especially if they aren't ready. However, on that note, if you are, say, dating someone, there are things you have to be honest and open about. An example of that would be if whether or not you are a parent, because what if the person you are dating might not either A, like kids, or B, might not like the idea about being a parent because they aren't financially ready. It's important to let your future partner know about these things because this will allow for them to know better what they're getting themselves into and it will also display a sign that you are honest and trustworthy to your future partner. Another example of this is actually referring to a recent situation involving Nikki Tutorials who made a very, very inspirational video about her coming out as a transgender woman is to be open to your future partner on what you identify yourself as and also if you are are transgender or not. That, in my honest opinion, is 100% something you should disclose to your partner, and there are those out there that would agree with that statement. And one such example would be Blair White. Trans women don't need to tell men they used to be a boy, just like they don't need to tell men they used to be a baby. Disagree? You're transphobic. So I have a personal story to share with you guys, as well as just my general opinion on this. My opinion is you absolutely need to tell your date that you are transgender before dating them, and especially banging. So with all that being said so far, let me ask you guys a question. Don't you think that it is an important detail to know so you know what you're getting yourself into? I'm not saying you should openly tell the whole world if you are not comfortable with it or spill your guts entirely on the first date, but there are certain things out there that are very important to disclose out of respect for yourself as well as your potential future partner. This isn't exactly a matter of being transphobic or discriminatory per se, but rather a case of displaying honesty, and that is very important in any given relationship. It is rather unfortunate, however, that there is discrimination running rampant out there in the world, and in my honest opinion, no one should ever have to be mistreated regardless of their age, gender, sex, language, race, etc. However, it is a sad fact of life that we have to deal with. For me personally, I'm not going to judge you whether you are a male, female, white, black, Asian, Hispanic, straight, bi, pan, gay, trans, and anything else that defines a person. I will, however, judge you based on your personality and actions, and that is honestly really how it should be, but hey, that's just me. So I'm going to say this outright. If I'm dating someone who is transgender and they told me, I'd be fine with that, and it would not make me think any differently. If I'm dating someone who is a parent and they told me, I'd be fine with that and not think any differently because it is the openness part that makes the impact in my honest opinion. If you are, however, hiding things that are on a need-to-know basis, then how do I know I can trust you? I get being open about personal things might be rather difficult, and believe me, I've been there before. I've closed myself off to the whole world because I've had trust issues, because I've been scrutinized and judged based on who I am as a person, but there are certain things out there that you need to disclose to your future partner because they deserve to know what to expect out of you. Now, I'm going to open myself up a little bit to you guys. I am a 29-year-old adult that still lives at home, but I have a full-time job as a security officer in a hospital. I work 40 hours a week and have been doing so over the last 8 plus years. I also went to school back in 2010 to study policing and corrections, but in all honesty, I kind of regret doing that because that isn't exactly what my passion is looking back. 
YouTube, however, is my passion, and I hope to one day to be able to do YouTube full-time. I also have high-functioning autism. I've been diagnosed with Asperger's when I was four years old and have lived with being scrutinized by my peers and adversaries. I was even at one point attacked for it online, but despite that, I overcame any bullying that stemmed from me having that disability, and here I sit proudly as a man that is just trying to not only make an honest living, but create content that inspires and entertains all of you amazing viewers. Now there is no two ways about it, I'm not going to deny anything about this. I have my own flaws and shortcomings, and I work on those every single day about myself. What I stand for is to be open and true to yourself and to never quit. The one thing that I will never do is lie to my fans. So with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it here for this commentary. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you guys did, you know what to do. Leave a like and subscribe, and also, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are comfortable, then comment down below and open up a little bit about yourself as well, and about your personal struggles and about how you dealt with them. And depending on how well this is received, I might actually make more videos opening up about my past experiences, because there's a lot I have experienced in my 29 years of existence and all that stuff and one of the reasons that I would make those videos would be to inspire you guys to say hey it's okay to be different it's okay to share your personal struggles with those if you in fact need to do it and I'm just gonna tell you right now I'm someone that's not going to judge you based on your personal struggles because hey the fact that you overcame them and that you are here right now shows that you are a very strong individual and if you are currently dealing with those struggles then open up down in the comments down below and I will read your comments and I will comment the absolute best I can when it comes to my personal advice on how I would deal with the situation that you'd be in and I also would like to let you guys know that this right here I am doing the best I can to create a judge judgment free zone when it comes to this community right here and I just gotta say you guys as a community are bloody awesome I love you guys so very much you're all so very supportive I love you guys you guys are absolute legends so thank you guys for watching have yourself a wonderful day or night depending on your time zone and I'll see you guys in the next one